St. Therese Vocational Training College in Karen is committed to restoring hope and dignity to needy young people through dignified training towards self-reliance. We empower young women and men to be active job creators by equipping them with pertinent knowledge and skills in catering and accommodation, food and beverage management, housekeeping and laundry, among other short courses. Support our training programs by sponsoring a needy student at St. Therese Vocational Training. Send your contributions to the pay bill number 186298. Use your name as the account name. Or to Ecobank, account name St. Therese Training Center, account number 0243205019254. Nine two zero three, or contact us on zero seven two two three zero six zero three zero, or zero seven three nine three zero nine five nine three for further inquiries. Whoever is generous to the poor lends to the Lord, and He will repay him for his deed. Proverbs chapter nineteen verse seventeen. Your support will be highly appreciated. The KCCB St. Luke's College of Health Sciences North Kinangob is open for applications for the May and September 2022 intakes. The college is certified by the Nursing Council of Kenya and TVET to offer diploma and certificate courses in nursing. Our diploma courses include Diploma in Kenya Registered Community Health Nursing, Diploma in Perioperative Theatre Technology, Diploma in Community Health Assistant, Diploma in Counseling Psychology, and Diploma in Health Records. Our certificate courses are Certificate in Perioperative Theatre Technology, Certificate in Community Health Assistant, Counseling Psychology, Certificate in Health Records, and Certificate in Social Work and Community Development. We also offer KCSE bridging or neck receipt for candidates who wish to enroll for diploma in nursing. We are located at a serene environment in Nyandaro County, approximately 20 kilometers from Naivasha town. Seize the opportunity in our ongoing May and September intakes. For further inquiries, contact the college principal on 0720-430-311 or 07 8043031212 or send an email to kec st luke's at yahoo.com entertainment package look no further by renewing your start time subscription today you get the most comprehensive family entertainment simply go to mpesa menu select lipa na mpesa then pay bill option 585858 followed by your smart card number and bouquet amount then enter your pin and press ok you can then switch on to any stv or punk channel and wait for five minutes for channels activation of your bouquet for more details call us on 0719 077 Stay tuned for more family entertainment only on Star Times. Management is nothing more than motivating other people. And that's why Tangaza University College, in partnership with Moriarty Institute for Continuous Formation, invites you for leadership and management programs from 27th June 2022 to 8th July 2022 at DePaul Center. The short courses offered are Project Management, Resource Mobilization at a cost of 20,000 Kenya shillings per person, lunch and tea inclusive, 
For these colors and for borders, additional cost of 2,000 Kenya shillings per day. Few slots remaining. Register now. Visit our websites. For more information, call us on 0727-177-674 or you can email us at clmadmin at tangaza.ac.ke. Two Testaments A testament is an old English word meaning covenant. To get two testaments as your skiza tune, send skiza followed by code 7389971 and send it to 811. Two Testaments Every day, over 15 million members are transforming Africa. Equity. Karibu member. Kapuchin TV Tambulisho Katoliki. Welcome to our today's celebration and this mass is requested by Anna Thega for and family for Thanksgiving. We remember the soul of James Kabilo and we also offer our personal intentions. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord have mercy. 
You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas, and since without you, mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. The Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Sirach. The prophet Elijah arose like a fire, and his word burned like a torch. He brought a famine upon them, and by his zeal he made them few in number. By the word of the Lord he shut up the heavens, and also three times brought down fire. How glorious you are! O Elijah, in your wondrous deeds. And who has the right to boast which you have? You who raised a corpse from death and from heads by the word of the Most High, who brought kings down to destruction and famous men from their beds and easily destroyed their dominion, who had rebuke at Sinai and judgments of vengeance at Horeb, who anointed kings to inflict retribution and prophets to succeed you, you who were taken up by a whirlwind of fire, in a chariot with horses of fire, you who are ready at the appointed time, it is written, to calm the wrath of God before it breaks out in fury, to turn the heart of the Father to the Son, and to restore the tribes of Jacob. Blessed are those who saw you, and those who have fallen asleep in your love, for we also shall surely live, but our name after death will not be such. It was Elijah who was covered by the whirlwind, and Elisha was filled with his spirit. In all his days, he did not tremble before any ruler, and no one brought him into subjection. Nothing was too hard for him, and when he was dead, his body prophesied. As in his life he did wonders, so in death his deeds were marvelous. The word of the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many islands be glad. Cloud and darkness surround him. Justice and right are the foundation of his throne. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. A fire prepares his path. It burns up his foes on every side. His lightnings light up the world. The earth looks on and trembles. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The mountains melt like wax before the face of the Lord, before the face of the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim his justice, all peoples see his glory. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. In the Lord, you just. Let those who serve idols be ashamed, those who boast of their worthless gods. All you angels worship him. 
Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Kindly arise for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. You have received the spirit of sonship. In him we cry, Abba, Father. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard from their many words. Do not be like them. For your father knows what you need before you ask him. Pray then like this. Our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father also will forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. The Gospel of the Lord. We have listened to this text for quite a number of times. And all of us, we have an opportunity to say the prayer of our Father every day. And we may enter into a culture whereby we just recite the prayer of our Father. And we say it perhaps unconsciously. But Jesus Christ invites us even to meditate in a deeper way the words that we normally utter or even say when we pray this prayer of our Father who art in heaven. And even before he gives this prayer, he tells us we do not have to babble many words. We do not have to heap empty words like the Gentiles. The Lord knows even what we need, even before we open our mouths. And that gives my first point, what we call the infinite awareness of God. One of the properties of God is that he is omniscient. He knows everything. He knows us. He knows even what we need in our lives even before we talk to him. He is very close to each and every one of us. St. Augustine would say that God is close to myself than I am to myself. That God is close to myself than I am to myself. And you can imagine what that means. 
that God is aware of us. God knows us even more than we know ourselves. And therefore, what we need in our lives, God knows even before we open our mouths. So Jesus Christ is emphasizing one thing, the closeness of God to the human person. God is always close to you. Even when you think or you feel as if God is far away from you, perhaps even when you see things happening in your life and sometimes you wonder whether God is aware of what is happening, even when you think that you are so far that God does not even realize what is happening, the closeness of God to the human person is affirmed by Jesus Christ. What then it means to us? It's to trust in that God every moment of our life. That is the first point. The second one, Christ teaches us that first of all in our prayers, we are not to focus on ourselves, but we are to focus on God. The first three parts of the prayer of our Father, they concentrate about God. He is our Father who is at in heaven, or who art in heaven. He is our Father whom we are supposed to hallow his name. He is our Father whom we should pray that his kingdom come into this world and again his will be done among ourselves. So first of all, we are not to focus on ourselves, but we are to focus on God. And that God is seen as a Father. You realize, and we have said several times, the prayer of our Father is so profound because it presents to us the totality of God and then presents the totality of the human person to God. We are talking of God the Father who is always there to give our daily bread. And daily bread is a symbol of what we need on a daily basis. And again, this is a test of our trust in him. When he talks of our daily bread, it means that we are not to hold on everything. First of all, we have to realize that everything is a gift from God. And when it is given to us, then we have also a responsibility to share it with our brothers and sisters. So it is first of all to acknowledge that everything we have is a special gift from him and that is why he is our father he is our father and not my father reminding us again that all of us in this world we are brothers and sisters and when he is our father then how do we relate with one another how do we treat those whom we live with God is our Father who provides our daily bread. And he goes again to tell us that he also knows that the past is there. And the totality of God again is presented in the second person who forgives us our sins. And the one who forgives our sins is God through Jesus Christ. By dying on the cross, our sins were wiped away. So we are reminded again, in this world we are to unite with God and God the Son. And therefore it reminds us, the most important or what binds the human person as a society in this world is forgiveness. We cannot live as sons and daughters of God without forgiveness. The second person of the Holy Trinity wipes away our sins and therefore we are also to live in this community of believers of sons and daughters of god through that same aspect of forgiving those who long us 
And then we hear about the future of the human person catered by the Holy Spirit who comes to us. He is also to strengthen us. And he is strengthening us so that the same kingdom of God may be experienced in this world. He guides us again so that we may be able to fulfill the will of God. The kingdom of God may be experienced in this world. And what is this kingdom of God? Is the kingdom of peace, is the kingdom of justice, is the kingdom of love. That is the kingdom of God. Is the kingdom of justice, peace, and love. The Holy Spirit will help us to live that kingdom of God in this world. And in this then you realize that the entire Holy Trinity and totality of God is presented to us. And again, the totality of the human person, which is the past, the present, and the future, is also presented to God. This is the reason why the prayer of our Father is so important in our lives. We may say all these things, but perhaps they pass us. Jesus Christ is challenging us this morning to reflect on these words. Allow them to sink in our hearts so that even when we, what we say with our mouths, it comes from our heart and it helps us to leave the prayer of our Father in this world and in this particular moment so that God may be experienced as a father by everyone. His kingdom may be in this world where it is experienced by everyone. And again, his will may be fulfilled in the heart and in the life of every human person. And this again will be experienced by living with one another as a brother and as a sister. That will be perfected by forgiveness. And you realize that is a condition, the only condition that is given in this prayer. That if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father also will forgive you. That is conditional. That we have to forgive our brothers and sisters. But the mercy of God is not limited. He knows us. He knows the depths of the heart of each and every one of us. He knows our intentions. He knows our aspirations. If only we trust him and call on him every moment then change will be experienced in our lives and we will be participants in the kingdom of God here now and the fulfillment of that participation will be experienced when we will meet God forever and ever. That is what we hear in the first reading. Elijah was able even to perform greater things when he was alive. What even I love is what is he said again. Even when he died, his deeds were marvelous. You can imagine that. That he performed very many great things. And that is what has been analyzed in this particular reading. He did many great things as a righteous man of God. But even when he died, his deeds were marvelous. Maybe we can also ask ourselves, will our words or even our deeds speak even when we will not be in this world? This is the moment to make indelible marks in our lives that will be experienced by other people whether we are here or not. May the Lord continue to grace us and to strengthen us that every moment of our life we may be participants in his kingdom. Tumsifu Yesu Christo.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in our body or in spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just our duty and our salvation always and ever to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is you who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray, by setting down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was added, he took the chance, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chance of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your chance spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Philip, Agnolo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, James, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her most dear spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
and the Savior's command, informed by a divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on other cities in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Yeah. 
Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from me. From the wicked foe, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me. And bid me come unto me. That to thy angels and saints I may praise thee. Forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Your mighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace of Christ to love and serve one another. Our mass is seated.
Capuchin TV, your Catholic broadcasting ministry. Na pia nawashukuru tena kwa support unapatia Capuchin TV. Ile support tunapatia Capuchin TV ni muhimu sana. Kwa sababu kazi wanafanya ya kuhubiri njini kote mimi siwezi hata wewe kwa sababu una ujuzi lakini hao kwa kuwasaidia tunafanya hiyo kazi tuendelee kufanya kazi payable number 510678 account name caps tv You are watching Capuchin TV. For any complaints, comments, or compliments on our programming, you can either write to us on info at capuchintv.co.ke or you can call us directly on 0717-424-866. Your complaint shall be addressed within seven days. Remember, to keep a copy of your communication with us keep watching capuchin tv your catholic identity every day over 15 million members are transforming africa
Don't miss Africa's most prestigious soccer tournament, CAF Africa Cup of Nations 2023 qualifiers live on Star Time. Soccer heavyweights Ghana, Cameroon, Angola, Morocco, Senegal, Cote d'Ivoire, Uganda, among others, battle for a spot in the competition. From 1st to 13th of June, catch all the match day 1 and 2 live action on Star Time's World Football, Sports Premium, and Sports Life channels from 4 p.m. Renew your Star Time subscription today for just 899 shillings per month on Classic Bouquet Aerial Decoder or 999 shillings on Smart Bouquet on Set. Light to catch all the action live on Star Time.